and I knew this would be the final. I knew these would be the final too. We've all been there for a big wrestling return. It's the thing we all wait for. It's the thing we all love. We'd love to hear that crowd pop, feel the energy of the superstar coming back from an injury or a contract hiatus or whatever it may be. Nothing can feel quite as surreal and cut as deep as some of those returns as our favorite wrestling superstars. From shocking surprises to emotional comebacks, these moments have left audiences around the world shocked. So get ready to relive all of these moments. Relive the thrill as we dive into this or that, the top 64 best WWE returns. Today's video is sponsored by Logitech and them sending me out this insane headset. I'm eternally grateful for it. I appreciate it, you guys. The Logitech G733 is what's on my head right now. It's an ultra lightweight Bluetooth headset that has up to 29 hours battery life. It's insane. It's changed the way I actually create content and I'm very grateful for them sending it out to me. As someone who does wear headsets a lot in the gym, traveling, all that kind of stuff, it's one of the lightest ones I've used and I've used a lot of different headsets. There's the added bonus of it actually being Bluetooth as well, which means that when I connect to my PC, I can walk around and do whatever I want. I have a sit stand desk, so that means that I can actually stand up, not worry about cords getting in the way. It's a game changer. And a little tip for those using a Go XLR like I am, you can run audio into your computer and still hear it through the headset without having to worry too much about it. Once again, thank you to Logitech. It's an unreal product. You can change the headbands and everything on it too, which is even cooler. Fully customizable, comes in blue, white, black, all that kind of stuff and it's super comfy. So check it out. There's a link in the description down below. Get your hands on one if you need a new headset. We fully kitted with Logitech now. We've got the keyboard, the mouse, the headset. What's next, Logitech? Your move. Now for the purpose of this video, this is a I am choosing type of adventure where we have 64 returns. I don't know what they are. They're on a website. I'm gonna see them, rate them on my experience based on how I felt with them and gonna give one the best return of all time. It's pretty straightforward. Of course, you're gonna have an opinion that might differentiate to mine. So comment it down below and let me know where you think these returns should rank. Now, whether you're a lifelong fan or you're new to wrestling, these returns are pretty much guaranteed to give you goosebumps. So don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe because there is weekly content on this channel. And if you're a wrestling fan, well then that's what this channel is for. So why haven't you subscribed? All right, let's jump into the video. Sasha Banks return. Sasha always gets a pretty big pop. Sasha always gets a pretty big pop. Let's be honest. I'm going to try and play as minimal amount of these as I can because I don't want to get copyrighted by WWE. But Sasha always gets a pretty big pop. I don't know if I rate that over Diesel's return though. Diesel at the Rumble, bro. That shit was unreal. My bro came out and went crazy. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not going to put the sound on. I don't want to get in trouble. But look at this. Diesel came out and gave practically all of the older fans a massive hit of uh, nostalgia. So I got to say Diesel goes forward in this one. Sasha Banks returning on Raw is like, it wasn't, look, I'm sorry, but it wasn't that big. What she did afterwards, however, was when she turned heel. All right, we're moving on to the next round. Round two, Sami Zayn returns versus Kairi Sane. I don't actually remember either of these. So let's play these real quick and catch ourselves up. All right, so Michael Cole's updated me that it was 10 months ago. He had two torn rotator cuffs. That's a big moment. I don't remember it for some reason. It's after WrestleMania 35. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Who knows? Kairi Sane assaulting Bianca from Crown Jewel. I actually do remember this. I literally reacted to this live. I was live watching this. Uh, it's up on my TikTok and everything. So I'm going to say that's the bigger moment. First of all, there's a reason behind that. She's coming back in Saudi Arabia where women aren't really much. So that's cool as hell. Kairi goes over. Round three. Randy Orton and Stone Cold. Well, Stone Cold, relax. Why are you playing so loud already? All right, Randy Survivor Series War Games 2023. Quick update. The cash in. Yep. We all know. We remember this. This wasn't the moment of Survivor Series, though, let's be honest. Like, it was cool. Randy came back. But it wasn't the moment we all cared about. Versus Stone Cold returning to destroy the Alliance. That's one of the biggest moments of that Alliance angle. They're all going crazy in the ring, as you can see on screen. And Stone Cold comes back and the crowd becomes unglued. I'm not going to play it once again for copyright reasons. But that moment has to go over. Because that return, the Randy Orton one, wasn't even the biggest one on that show. Man, is this even a question? Cody Rhodes return... And then the Undertaker's WrestleMania 20 entrance. That's not even a hard question. Come on now. Cody Rhodes return. Cena makes a shocking Money in the Bank return, which we do remember. Once again, I was live reacting to this and I popped very hard. Or Shawn Michaels returns on Raw. In NWO? 2002. I was, I was in year two. I was a little bopper. I wasn't doing much. I guess NWO come out. Talk some nonsense. Kevin Nash says, I got a new member of NWO. And Shawn comes out. This was after a bit of a hiatus for Sean. So that is pretty impressive. But I think Cena's return is the one I remember more so here. Granted, that is 22 years ago. But still, 
Cena's moment was like, holy shit, John Cena's back. Naomi returns to the Women's Rumble in 2020 or Jeff Hardy returns versus Edge. He attacks Edge. It, 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 when is it ever not Jeff? Like, when is it ever not Jeff? This was insane. 2006, Jeff had been gone for a little bit. Comes back, kind of a new gimmick. Attacks Edge, Jeff Hardy. Always Jeff Hardy going over there. Sorry, Naomi. So we know John Cena has a history of loving money in the bank, right? We just had him return at 2021. His 2023 moments, he returns and, and surprises everyone in London, I think, too, when he fights Grayson Waller. That's what this moment is here. However, this one is Stone Cold returns. It helps mankind win the WWF Championship. Now, uh, once again, I'm, I'm a young fella, but look at this crowd. Look at this crowd hitting. This is 99. 99, I, I'm, four, I'm four years old. I'm not very old. But I remember moments like this because Stone Cold was such a colossal freak and everyone loved him. I think I'd be silly not to choose him here. Returning for a talking segment, returning to help Mankind win the title. Come on now. I've been given two duds here. We've got Batista returning to Monday Night Raw in 2009, which I don't even really remember. I guess Legacy are beating people up and then and then Dave Batista comes out and goes crazy. Yeah, fair enough. And then Braun Strowman returning last year, two years ago. Was this when he came back bald with the bright red pants? Yeah, this was like a rehiring. Let's go Braun for the sake of it. Neither of them are going to get through the next round. We know that. Okay, this might be a little harder. Carlito's return, 2003 Backlash, was an absolute banger. I remember this. I loved it. Was live reacting to it once again. It did like 400k views on my TikTok. Check that out. Link in the description down below. Like, I have good, rem I have good memories of this. Roman Reigns returned to Raw in 2019. 2019 wrestling was an interesting place. It was not a fun place to be around. Uh, it wasn't the place that we're in right now. Roman coming back here was after cancer, though, I think, right? Where he comes out, gets in the ring and says, I'm in remission, y'all. So, like, I've been given two very hard ones here. I wish we had to put one of these with the Batista and the Braun Strowman, because th that's useless. I think i got to go Roman, though. He comes out, says he's in remission, no longer has the big C. Sorry, Carlito, that's a massive moment for wrestling history. Triple H returns from injury in 2002. I do remember this. This is where he comes out and says, I'm entering the Royal Rumble. Wish he didn't, because it kind of gave away he was going to win it. Versus Edge winning the Royal Rumble. So these are very similar. But this is Edge's 2010 Royal Rumble where he comes out and goes crazy. I was a young fella. I was in grade 10, actually. It's not much of a young fella, but still. In grade 10, marked out hard to this. Edge is going over. Mr. McMahon's new Raw General Manager, 2017. Who is... Who, who, who even... Who even is it? Who even was it? Oh, it was Kurt. Okay. All right. I mean... I call myself a wrestling fan. I'm forgetting a lot of moments here. Versus Roman's return, where he attacks the Fiend, right, may he rest in peace, and Braun, and that leads, that leads to him being the final, nah, come on now, that, this led to the bloodline, essentially, so, imagine if Roman didn't come back, we'd all still be stuck in this Thunderdome nonsense. Roman, that's a big return for the history of wrestling. Triple H wins 2016 Rumble, or CM Punk back at Survivor Series last year. That's the one we was talking about, it was, it overshadowed Randy. How could that? That's probably number one. I'm not going to lie. That might go the distance here. Edge returns 2020 Rumble versus Christian returns with a new theme. And I get it because Edge and Christian, but Edge returning at the 2020 Rumble, despite the cameraman missing the spear on Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, yeah unfortunate. What an insane moment. This is just before the world shut down for COVID. Insane moment. This has to go over. I've been thrown two curveballs here once again. We have John Cena making his surprise return at the Royal Rumble 2008, which is, obviously, we all remember it, Madison Square Garden, that cool entrance. Cena shouldn't have been back from his peck injury, but he was back. Against Paige returning with Mandy and Sonya, with two newcomers, it says, Mandy and Sonya. Ah, this is a hard one. Once again, that's a horrible pause. I'm sorry, Paige. Um, it's, like, either of these could win this whole thing, because these are both massive moments. The pop for Cena returning in Madison Square Garden was unreal. Everyone had Triple H winning the Rumble. But Paige's return is insane. Like, that was a long time. She had she had some crazy stuff going on with the, you know, ex-boyfriends and whatnot. I think I got to lead towards Paige here. And I'm so sorry. A lot of people in the comments are going to hate me for that. But I think Paige has got to go over. Becky Lynch makes shocking SummerSlam return. This is against Bianca. I remember this. Yep. Everyone got really upset because she just hits Bianca with one move and wins. Crazy. Versus The Undertaker returning in the casket. Randy was just the sole survivor. The casket comes up. It, it opens it. It's flaming. He kicks the thing open. Unreal moment. One of the best memes of all time, Randy's face. Both of these, once again, are really good. I'm not going to lie. I think it's got to be Taker, though. That return done so well. Matt and Jeff Hardy make a shocking return at WrestleMania 33. This might be the all-time winner, ladies and gentlemen. This is huge. 
But who? 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 Hardy Boys theme hits. Out they come. What a moment. I lost my mind. As the Hardy Boys lifelong fan, I lost my mind. We've nearly wrapped up the hard part. We're at round 26 of 32, which means we're about to have seen all of the returns. So now I'm going to have to start putting them against each other. This is the hard part, though. We're seeing which ones they were refreshing my memory. Putting them against each other going up to number one, that's not as bad. Kurt Angle returning from injury in 2003. I mean, a big deal, but not the biggest deal. What's going on with this here? Big Show's very close to him. And Brock Lesnar shocking Roman after SummerSlam. Nah, that's Cowboy Brock, yeah? Cowboy Brock goes over. Mickey James makes a historic Rumble match entrance. This is as Knockouts champion. Huge, huge, huge moment. Sorry, Impact Women's champion at the time. It's, it is Knockouts champion, but huge moment because we hadn't had anything like this in WWE before. So this is pretty game-changing. Versus Nikki Bella makes a surprise return at SummerSlam in 2016. Who was she versing? Oh, shit. This was when they were leading into that, that whole Natty took out Nikki Bella angle thing. I mean, Nikki Bella coming back is cool. Mickey James has got to go over, though, for the for the history of the moment there. The Rock's electrifying entrance, SmackDown 23. Uh, the, I can't even speak. I went to this WrestleMania, of course, the one earlier this year. This, everything that led up to that mania was unreal. And The Rock coming out here and kind of setting the... I guess the tone for things was cool. He wasn't final boss rock yet, so this isn't going over because the one it's competing with is Bailey's return. And it wasn't just Bailey returning. Bailey brought back a lot of people with her. She brought back EO and Dakota. So for that moment, Bailey goes over. Final round before we start putting them all together, now we've seen them all, is Charlotte returning to win the title from Ronda versus Trish's entrance in the Royal Rumble 2018. Was this a surprise? I feel like. Like, it was a surprise. It was number 30. But we all kind of knew Trish was going to be in this match, no? I mean, this match, this this wins, I think. But it's not really a surprise. But it is going over. All right, now's the hard part. The round of 32. We start minimizing the field and, and knocking out some of these nobodies. So we got Roman Reigns makes a shocking return up against Stone Cold returning at the Raw 25th anniversary. Once again, remember this. He returns, goes crazy. Yep, we loved it. Wreck them all and leave or smash them all and leave, I think his shirt says. And you got Stone Cold's 25th anniversary. Roman goes over. This is going to be quicker. This is nice. This is where it starts to go a bit quicker. CM Punk War Games 2023. Come on. Come on. It's up against Edge with Jeff. Come on. It's Punk. It has to be, man. That might be the winner all time. Diesel's got to go over. Cena coming back at Money in the Bank after Roman winning. Yeah, big moment. Mickey James in the Rumble, though, with the Impact title. In terms of an actual pop, a genuine holy shit moment. Mickey James. Roman returning after leukemia, saying I'm in remission. Okay. Kane returning in 2000. Nah, come on. These aren't even close. This is a very easy round to get through. Matt and Jeff at 33. Paige coming back with Mandy and Sonya. Matt and Jeff. Matt and Jeff all the fucking time. All, every, every day of the week. Braun Strowman's return, which shouldn't even be in here, versus Gargano's return. Neither of these deserve to go through the next round. I'm not going to lie to you. But if I have to pick one, I guess it's going to be Johnny Gargano. The Undertaker returns with his casket or Trisha's entrance. It's got to be Taker. We went through how good this moment is where he comes out in that casket where it's flaming and he kicks the door. Everyone's like, oh my God. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Look at, look, look, look. Aura. That screams aura. Sorry, Trish. Taker's beating you there. Edge winning the 2010 Rumble and Stone Cold returning to help mankind. Oh, this is a bit tougher. This is a bit tougher. I think it's got to be Stone Cold helping mankind because what a moment that was. But, like, Edge's return was nothing. I think this isn't Edge's best return. That's the thing. The 2021 was better. So, in, for that regard, I think Stone Cold goes over here. Stone Cold come back for the Alliance or Bailey's return? Once again, like, this... Uh, it's hard to put them both together. Like, him coming back for the Alliance return was like, oh my god, Austin's back. But Bailey being back was like, holy shit. And she had friends with... It's got to be Bailey. She had EO and Dakota with her. It led to it led to damage control. How awesome. Rey Mysterio returned at the Rumble. Brock Lesnar shocks Roman. It's Brock. It's got to be Brock at SummerSlam. I'm sorry it has to be. Jericho's return in 2007 versus Kyrie Sane. I think Kyrie Sane's got to go over here because like this... Once again... It's, it's actually, it's the, the thing behind it. While the pop wasn't huge because it was in Saudi Arabia, if you think about the moment, it actually is a massive moment. Kyrie returning, coming back, and in Saudi Arabia is huge. Cody Rhodes, WrestleMania 38. We all remember this. Oh my God, we lost our minds. 
And Daniel Bryan's surprise return at SummerSlam. Not even close. Cody, I think I know what the finals videos are going to be, but they might throw them together. Edge 2020 or Dudley Boys 2015. It's Edge 2020. This moment, it's an all-timer. It's an all-timer. Edge 2020. Scott Steiner's return in 2002, which is actually his debut in WWE, I think, because he was WCW beforehand. Oh, he was back in the 80s and 90s, I guess, but as Big Popper Pump, Scott Steiner. And then this is Cena at WrestleMania with The Rock. Nah, Scott Steiner goes over here. He didn't look great in the ring. He had little tiny chicken legs, but he was, it was a cool return. Brock Lesnar returning versus Bray Wyatt's return. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar because we don't have a video to compare to here. So when it comes down to this final round we're coming into, I can't compare this to anything. All right, we're turning 16 into 8 here. Roman's return, Bailey's return. Oh, man. I think Roman's, because he saved us during that horrible Thunderdome era and turned it into something we actually wanted to watch. I think I think it's got to be Roman. It's got to be Roman. The Fiend and, and, and Braun was horrid, man. Matt and Jeff at 33 or Taker at 2... Ooh. Nah, in terms of pop, Matt and Jeff at 33. We went crazy for that, man. Everyone went crazy for that. Cody Rhodes, 38. Brock at SummerSlam. It's Cody. Cody coming back to WWE is such a huge moment. That has to go over. At least we can start rapid fire in these now. You know what I'm saying? Roman's return after the leukemia or Mickey James in the Rumble as the Impact Champion. All right, now hold on. I'm going to get hate for this because people are going to be like, oh my God, how could you? It doesn't mean as much. Mickey's moment as a wrestling fan, I think was bigger because it had the Impact title involved as well. Roman's is like health wise. That's insane. But I think Mickey, I think Mickey, I'm so sorry. I'm going to get yelled at in the comments. Please, I'm fragile. CM Punk at Survivor Series. Edge in 2020. I knew this was going to happen. Oh, dear, brother. I knew they were going to put these two together. Shitting and screaming. I knew they were going to put these two together. This is a hard choice. Like, it's not. I've made my mind up already. But it's a hard choice to every wrestling fan if they have to compare the two. These are such huge moments. Medically retired. Broken neck. Should never wrestle again. The man who hates the company more than the... the, the earth the worms in the earth and i can't even speak that's how big this moment is oh god once again 50 50 i probably get yelled at for it cm punk stone cold helping mankind or Kyrie sane coming back at crown jewel it's stone cold with mankind this is mankind's first title win it also led to the downfall of wcw brock lesnar or scott steiner it's Brock Lesnar. Diesel in 2011 or Johnny Gargano? Sorry, Johnny, it's Diesel. I don't know how Diesel made it that far. He's had an easy bracket. He's been like England in the Euros. Is that too soon? CM Punk or Diesel? There we go. That's better. See you later, Diesel. There's only four people who can move on from here. Brock Lesnar in 2012 or Mickey James? Oh, it's, it's, once again, this is hard. This is Brock back after UFC. He hadn't come back in ages. What a moment. But this is the Impact title, man. Mickey James with the Impact title. It's never been done before. It broke down the forbidden door. It's going to be Mickey once again. I'm going to get so much hate on this video. Cody Rhodes returns at 38, Stone Cold with Mankind. While that, mass while that moment is massive, Cody Rhodes' moment at WrestleMania 38 is the moment. Like, that's the guy right there. That's our world champion. Matt and Jeff at 33, or Roman back to save us from the Thunderdome. In terms of surprise value, Matt and Jeff. In terms of what it did for the company, Roman. But it's a pop, it's a return, Matt and Jeff. Only two can move on here. Cody Rhodes versus Matt and Jeff. You know, the worst part is that the fan inside of me says Matt and Jeff because I'm a Hardy Boys guy. But Cody is, this is the return. This is the one. And CM Punk versus Mickey James. Once again, Mickey's moment is huge, but CM Punk's is, is career defining. And I knew this would be the final. I knew these would be the final two. Cody Rhodes and CM Punk. CM Punk's huge moment. Everything's gone. It's the end of the show. It's my biggest reacted to TikTok. I lost my mind and my Instagram. Check all the socials out. And then Cody Rhodes actually showing up in the company. I think it's probably my second biggest TikTok. Or maybe third biggest. In terms of what it's worth and in terms of a return that people never thought would happen, I think it's got to be CM Punk. I think Chicago made goes over here. I'm sorry, Cody. The Cody Vader. It was such a sick moment. But I think CM Punk returning to WWE last year in Chicago. I think that's the winner. So there you have it. That's what I rank of these best returns. I had to put that one at number one because you know 
It just is. It just is the one that goes over the most, man. It's the most satisfying. It's the it's the biggest pop as a fan. You never thought it was going to happen. I'd love to know what you guys thought because I know you will disagree with some of the choices I made in there. So comment them down below. And as I said, if you like what you've seen on the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button because there is wrestling content here and we try to get an upload at least two times a week. So a little bit to scratch your little brain. I'll see you in the next video.